Deep within the dense rainforests of the Democratic Republic of Congo, a mysterious creature is roaming its habitat. Its name sends shivers down the spines of locals and explorers alike. I'm talking about Beely Apes. These legendary giants of the jungle have become the protagonists of many tales and legends, as well as numerous speculations. Imagine a chimpanzee. Now make it bigger, almost the size of a human when standing on its two. Make it wider and stronger. It nests on the ground in trees like gorillas and feasts on fierce beasts like leopards. That's a Beely Ape. Through generations, locals have been whispering about Beely Apes to each other. There are stories of them roaming the jungles on their two feet, vanishing into thin air when encountered by a human but leaving massive footprints behind. People claim that they have heard the creatures howling at the moon. They also state that the beasts are immune to poisonous darts. Locals call them the ones which beat the tree and the one which kills the lion. Local communities view them as guardians of the forest, possessing ancient wisdom passed down through the ages. About two decades ago, Scientists and researchers got intrigued by what was going on in those rainforests and what those creatures were. A group of researchers went to study them, and here's what they found out. Remember that the locals say that Billy Apes avoid humans. That's true, but not exactly. Turns out that Billy Apes live in the part of the forest that is close to where humans live, and really prefer to avoid people. Adult males are more afraid of people than females. But as you go deeper into the forest, you see Belis that have never seen people before. Those have no fear, and they even show interest in their guests. They walk around you with curiosity, or even come face to face with you and stare at you before moving away. The apes don't show any aggression. Much like other chimpanzees, Billy apes live in social groups of 10 to 100 members. Every troop has a leader, a dominant alpha male. How do they determine the leader? Usually it's just the biggest male, so it's simple here. The leader makes decisions and protects the group, but he also has the highest rank and gets priority access to everything, like food or mates. There are even more rankings. Females have their own ranks, and more dominant apes have influence over others. They really are bigger than an average chimpanzee, and early in life, they have a gray coat. Their diet is also similar to that of chimpanzees. This means that about 90% of their diet is plants and fruits, only 6% is animal products, and the remaining 4% are insects. In some instances, they act more like gorillas. For example, these fearless creatures don't only nest on trees, but on the ground as well. They make their nests themselves, moving branches and samplings into central bowls. Researchers are still baffled by this fact because the ground isn't safe, with all those leopards, lions, and buffaloes roaming around. Maybe those creatures are as fierce as the local tales say. But here's the thing. The apes that live close to humans avoid nesting on the ground and are also way quieter, trying to avoid hunters. By the way, the nests of chimpanzees are cleaner than our beds. Those guys build a new nest every single night to keep bugs and whatever else out. Their creative abilities don't end with making nests. Billy apes actively use tools too. They have been observed using sticks or branches as tools to probe termite mounds or extract honey from beehives. There are several types of tools and all have a particular purpose. The tools used to harvest driver ants are the largest ever found in Africa. This shows that these creatures have quite impressive cognitive abilities and problem-solving skills. Also, social learning. If one chimpanzee figures something out and that works, the others will observe learn and adopt the same strategy. Not every animal is capable of that. So that's what we know. When the research group came back, one of the members published a report in a magazine. Their faces are much flatter than those of chimpanzees. They turn gray early in life. They have a distinct howl that gets louder during the full moon. Those must be a new species unknown to scientists, a hybrid of the gorilla and the chimpanzee. Well, that's quite a scientific discovery. The researcher gave many interviews to famous channels and magazines, but then it was discovered that the researchers had a PhD in behavioral psychology. So some experts in the field turned skeptical about her report. Billis did show some unique behavior that's not typical to chimpanzees, but that was mostly limited to nesting on the ground. So are they a new species or not? 
The other members of the research group came forward after comparing Billy's DNA to the DNA of chimpanzees. They announced that the two samples of DNA were the same. They confirmed that the mysterious Billy apes were the hmm. same species as chimpanzees. Even more than that, they weren't even mutants or hybrids. Yes, they were a tiny bit bigger, and they would go gray earlier. But take humans. Some are taller, some are shorter, some are wider. Some get gray hairs earlier. And we all have different skin and hair and eye color. But just because I'm blonde and have an average height, and my neighbor is tall and has dark hair, it doesn't make us different species. So, that was the argument of the other scientists from the research group. So, the whole speculation of Billy apes being a new species unknown to science was nothing. The claim that Belis Howell at the moon was also debunked by another researcher from the group. The story is not new. There were other instances of such wrong calls. But there were also the opposite cases, when two species hmm. were believed to be the same, but turned out to be different. For example, Sumatran orangutan and Bornean orangutan were thought to be the same species for a while. But in the late 1990s, scientists established that the two were different. Both look alike, and both have that typical shaggy reddish fur. But Sumatran orangutans have longer hair and have closer social bonds with their community. Bornean orangutans are the ones who would go down to the ground more often. Both of the species are endangered, with just a bit over 100,000 Bornean orangutans left and just 14,000 Sumatrans. As recently as 2017, a new third species of orangutan was announced, the Tapanuli orangutan. There are just about 800 of those left in the world, and it's the most endangered species of all apes. Let's throw in a couple of facts about apes. Wild chimpanzees only live in Africa, and only in 21 countries of all. That's also the homeland of humans. Yes, millions of years ago, the first humans evolved in Africa. Chimpanzees are actually humans' closest living relatives. A human and a chimpanzee share an impressive 98.8% of the DNA. Humans, chimps, and bonobos share the same ancestor from 7 million years back. That's a very distant relative, but it explains why we're so alike. Seriously, we are. Chimps can catch human diseases, and scientists believe that they can develop Alzheimer's. Also, chimps have distinctive personality types similar to humans. They display very degrees of the five major personality traits. Extroversion, openness, agreeableness, neuroticism, and conscientiousness. Chimpanzees are also known for fighting over territories with other groups. As I told you, they also learn from each other, not just about tools, but stuff like fashion too. In Zambia, a chimpanzee once stuck a stalk of grass behind her ear. And other female chimpanzees did the same thing after her. Also, the language. They won't be able to speak English, of course. But one chimpanzee that lives in captivity has picked up American Sign Language. Now it can do more than 350 signs to communicate with the caretakers. The chimp even passed this knowledge down to her adopted son. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.